Mann Hummel is a multinational group currently dedicated to two main lines of business, automotive and industrial filtration, and life sciences and environment. We are located in Zaragoza, Spain, and have about 750 employees. For us, automation is a way to maintain our position as market leaders by reducing costs and increase competitiveness and productivity. Initially, we didn't know anything about collaborative robotics and decided to choose universal robots because of their flexibility, simplicity, and quick integration into our processes. We are not trying simply to obtain high productivity in the shortest possible time. We are using the robots for small productivity gains in environments where they need to be side by side with the operator. Our three universal robots work in assembly cells, transferring parts. The robots basically feed machines where it is impractical for the operator to enter or where the operator has to enter with very precise timing. In this application, we had a limitation which was welding. Welding is a bottleneck. The process of loading and unloading the welding machine had to be very fast. The solution we adopted was to put in the universal robot. The robot was much easier to synchronize with a person, so that when the machine opens, the operator is ready to enter and load and unload, so that in just eight seconds, the machine is starting the welding again. This assembly was originally designed according to a client's requirements, where a single operator was sufficient. There was a change, which itself did not justify adding a second operator. By adding a robot, however, we managed to increase production and optimize resources. The robot's function is basically to transfer parts from the welding machine that finishes the part. The robot transfers the part to a verification machine. The robot waits for the part to be finished, takes it out of the machine, and delivers it into the hand of the operator just at the moment when it is needed. The third application incorporated a robot already in the design phase as we realized that we would not meet the client's required output rate with a single operator. However, we also didn't want to overproduce, so we needed to very carefully align production and not be wasteful. So we managed to make a schedule in which a robot provided just the work we needed to reach our goal, and it is now in operation. In the case of this assembly cell, we also see a robot that transfers between two different machines. Here we have also added a lighting system. If the robot is waiting for parts, as is now the case, it is blue, and when the operator loads the parts and the robot considers the load is correct, it will turn green, indicating to the operator that he or she can move away. Well, at first I didn't know anything about robots, but we had the support of Universal Robots Distributor to give us training. We had to learn fast, because we had to implement the first application very quickly, but now we can develop other applications ourselves, without the need for any external help. We are currently considering the possibility of incorporating this type of equipment for inspection tasks, parts packaging, and activities that do not add value to the product. We have created a sub-department within the Process Engineering Department dedicated to automation and the possible incorporation of this type of equipment in production processes.